Today I'm going to show you how to make the Tunisian basket weave stitch. We're going to be using two different stitches to make this. A Tunisian purl stitch and a Tunisian knit stitch. And it's a stitch multiple of five stitches plus two. The back. It's very textured on both sides. It's really, really pretty. To begin, make a slip knot and place it on your hook. I'm Carolyn, and my website is thepurpleponcho.com. Please take a second and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you very much for doing that. So I'm gonna, this is a stitch multiple of two, uh, excuse me, five plus two. So I'm gonna put 12 stitches. Let's see, I'm gonna chain 12, one. Okay. So here's 12 stitches. So to begin, we're gonna rotate our chain to the back and this first stitch is already used with this loop, so we're going to go in the next chain in the back bump, insert the hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And we're going to do that for all the stitches across, all the chain stitches, and leaving them on our hook. In the back bump, yarn over, pull up. And my last stitch. It's a good idea to count. Make sure you have the right amount of loops. 12 loops. So that's the forward pass. Now the return pass, yarn over, pull through one, it makes a chain on the end. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to repeat this all the way across until we have one loop left on our hook, and that's row one, setting up our foundation. The loop on our hook counts as our first stitch, so we're not going to be going underneath this first bar here. So skipping that first bar, we're going to place a knit Tunisia knit stitch in the next stitch and insert our hook yarn over and pull up a loop and we're going underneath this entire return pass that we just did so we're going to do this five times okay there's five one two three four five we're not counting the first one now in the next five stitches, we're going to do a Tunisian purl stitch. So bringing the yarn to the front, then coming down, yarn over, and pull through. Bringing the yarn to the front, insert, yarn over, and pull through. And we're going to do that five times. So five knit stitches, five purl stitches, and on the end, going through both loops on the side, yarn over and pull up a loop. So to do our return pass, yarn over, pull through one, makes the chain, and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way across. Now for the next row, skipping this first bar on the end always, going in the next stitch, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull up a stitch in each knit stitch. 
Then we're going to do five purl stitches. And I have videos on these other two stitches, separate videos on the knit stitch and the purl stitch. And then on the end, going through both loops, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we're going to repeat this until, so that we have five rows of this sequence. So I'll see you back after I finish the five rows. I now have five rows and this is the uh, pattern repeat that I want. I want to have five rows. So now I'm going to alternate my stitches. I'm going to do the purl stitches on top of these knit stitches and then I'm going to do the knit stitches over here on top of the purl stitches. So bringing the yarn in front going through that first uh, bar. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Bring the yarn down, insert, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And we're going to do that for five stitches. Okay. And now I'm going to do the knit stitch. So I'm going to go right in there in between those two bars and pull up a loop. Insert the hook going underneath this uh, return pass that we just did. So going all the way to the back. I'm going to do that for five stitches. And on the end, going through both on the edge, pulling up a loop. And return as usual. So you have one loop left. And you would do this, repeat this for five rows. Here we're doing the purl stitch. And then the knit stitch. going through both on the edge. So on my sample here, I did it a little bit bigger so that you could see I have 15 stitches plus 2, so I had started with 17 stitches on this sample here. So you have, right here you have knit, purl, knit, then you have purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and so forth. So that's how you make this beautiful stitch. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this beautiful stitch. I'd love for you to hit subscribe and the notification bell to get notified of new videos coming to my channel. Thank you for being here and thank you for crocheting with me. Have a great day!